Hey guys, what's up? So today's video is going to be me going on a little date with my boyfriend and it's not going to be just any date, it's going to be a visco style date which is something he really doesn't like to do. So this is going to be me forcing my boyfriend to go on a visco date with me. Okay, let's just get into it. What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Cora. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a vlog. Today is June 18th, which is actually my real birthday. If you guys watch my videos, I did post a birthday vlog last week with my friends Katie and Kennedy, but that was actually filmed about a week before my birthday because that was when we could all get together and do that. But today is actually my real birthday and I just got off of work at three and now it is five o'clock and I'm going to get ready because me and my boyfriend RJ are going to be going on a little picnic date for my birthday. We're gonna get drinks, we're gonna get sushi, and we're just gonna have a fun time. I wanted my birthday to be pretty chill, especially at a time like now with Corona going on. I didn't really want to throw a big party with all my friends because it's not really that safe to do that. So I decided to just do something more chill for my birthday. But yeah, I'm out here on RJ's porch. If you guys are wondering, this is where I film like all my videos, but his mom just redid it all. So there's all these decorations in the background now. But yeah, I'm just gonna get started with doing my makeup for our little date. Like I said, I just got off of work and I'm a lifeguard, so my tan line right now is absolutely horrendous. This is my lifeguard suit, so it just looks so bad with anything, but I always edit it out of my pictures because it's so noticeable in person and in photos. Also, if you guys watch my videos, you would know that my friends Katie and Kennedy got me these earrings for my birthday vlog, which was my last video. They're so cute. If you watch the YouTuber Ashley, her name is Best Dressed on YouTube. This is actually her jewelry line, and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. They're so cute. So thank you, Katie and Kennedy. I'm already wearing them. I was so excited to put them on for my birthday, but now I'm just gonna start doing my makeup. Like I said before, I film a ton of my videos out here. Even when we were in lockdown for coronavirus, I was filming videos here. And that is not because I was coming over here and hanging out with RJ, my boyfriend, during the lockdown. I actually wasn't allowed to see anybody, but I have been living here for the past three months, I think it's been. If you guys watched my coronavirus video, my sister ended up catching the coronavirus. When she did, she came home because she lives in an apartment in Madison, but she came home because she was so sick and my dad took care of her so me and my mom left the house so that we wouldn't get infected. So my mom went to my neighbor's house, but she only had one bedroom. So I ended up coming to live with my boyfriend. And I explained that all in the coronavirus video. If you guys want to go watch that, I can leave that down below as well as my birthday vlog. So I was talking about that one before. So I was only planning on staying here for a couple of weeks until my sister got better. But after that, my dad didn't want me and my mom coming home until he quarantined himself for at least two weeks. So after he quarantined himself for two weeks, my mom came home, but my parents said that if I was to come home, I wouldn't be able to see my boyfriend or any of my friends for the entire summer even after our state was done with our lockdown. And this is because my parents are super paranoid about getting the coronavirus, not just because they don't wanna get it, like who wants to get the coronavirus, but also because my mom has a lot of health issues and she just had a heart attack this past year and she's super susceptible to getting the coronavirus. So I completely understand that, but it just wasn't realistic for me to not go anywhere the entire summer because I have work and I see all my friends at work. So my boyfriend's family has been so nice to let me stay here. And yeah, I've just been living here and it's been pretty chill. It's not like a big deal. It definitely sounds really weird because we've only been dating for about eight months But now that it's been like three months that I've been living here It doesn't even seem that weird anymore Like it's so normal to me and my boyfriend actually goes to university at Minnesota Twin Cities And he was gonna move back there for the summer because he had an internship and I was going to be living here at his house With his parents by myself because of everything that I just explained Obviously I wish coronavirus didn't happen, but I'm really glad that he's staying here for the summer But yeah, that's pretty much the tea I don't even think that many people know that I have a boyfriend and the fact that I've lived been living with him for three months and most people don't even know that I'm dating someone it's kind of weird to me because in my last relationship I kind of posted a lot about it on social media <laughs> but I haven't been posting as much stuff on social media with my current boyfriend so that's why I feel like a lot of people don't know that we're dating so yeah I moved in with my boyfriend at 19 when we've only been dating for six months that sounds really weird okay I'm gonna finish up my makeup real quick and then me and RJ are going to go on our little picnic date <laughs> Okay, and that is it for the finished makeup look. I honestly never wear makeup unless I'm going out somewhere or I'm filming a video and I for some reason want to wear it, but it feels good to finally wear makeup again. <gasps> I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the birthday wishes. It means so much to me, my friends and family, and especially to you guys. I think it's so sweet that some of you guys have been DMing me or posting stories for my birthday. It literally means the world to me. It's so, so, so sweet, and it honestly makes my day. So thank you guys. I was not expecting this many birthday wishes. Definitely makes me feel really loved and want to continue making so many more videos because it is really what I love doing. 
love you guys okay before me and rj head out i just want to show you guys my outfit of the day my top is from princess polly and i really like it it's just a cute basic I really think this style is in right now and i definitely think they still have it on their site so definitely go check it out and then my shorts are just from zaffo they actually sent these to me and i think they're so cute they fit me so 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 well definitely really comfy so yeah that is my outfit i did want to possibly wear a bandana as well because i've been loving the look of the bandana in your hair and i think it'd be so cute for a little picnic so rj's mom got me a couple bandanas these are just two of them for my birthday because she knows that i've been wearing them recently so i'm gonna try the navy first because rj is wearing navy shorts so i think that'd be really cute together but if not i'm just not going to wear it i don't know if it's gonna look stupid or not if you guys don't know how to put these in i'm going to give you a quick little tutorial because it was the hardest thing for me to put it in and i finally figured out how to do it because one of the youtubers i watched showed me how to do it so i'm going to show you guys so basically you just put your hair up with the scrunchie into a low ponytail and then you just pull out any pieces that you want out of the bandana which i just pull a few out i don't like a ton of pieces because my hair is really long so it looks stupid if i pull really long pieces out of the bandana so i just try to pull all my baby hairs forward okay and this is what it looks like and then you're just going to put the bandana in your hair leaving a little in the front and then you're gonna tie it around your head underneath the hair tie and then it looks like this which actually looks so gross right now but then you're just going to pull the scrunchie out of your hair pull your hair forward and that is how you do it i think it looks so cute like this you don't have to put it over your ears but i always do because i have elephant ears literally i look like dumbo if i don't put it over my ears so that is just what i choose to do but you definitely don't have to so yeah that is the completed look okay it's date time okay i'm gonna order the sushi now hi can i place an order for takeout yes what's your name Cora, C-O-R-A. Can I have a California roll, a spicy crab roll, salmon tempura roll, and then can I get another spicy crab roll? And that'll be it. 2465, 20 minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oops. <laughs> She's like, bye. I was like, bye. RJ just went inside to go get the sushi, and I'm so excited. I am starving right now. Bag secured. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Why are you so dark? Yeah, so I'm taking over the channel now. Um, yeah. <laughs> RJ finished all of his sushi and I still have six to eat. I have an entire roll to eat and he finished all of his like 10 minutes ago. Uh. Probably gonna go to Culver's after this because we're starving, so. Did it skip? Try to do it. Huh? Do you know how to skip a rock? I don't know how. I did. I did it. I don't know how to do that. You just take it. Yes, you didn't. Take it. You're teaching the viewers? Throw it sidearm so it stays flat and it'll skip. I'm not gonna be able to do it. <gasps> that one's three! Like so good. Oh my god, this guy's staring at me! 
in the other car. I'm scared. Okay, we're done with our picnic day and we were walking around at the beach for a little bit. And now we're gonna head back to RJ's and eat some cake for my birthday. He got me Reese's ice cream cake. Ice cream cake is my favorite and Reese's peanut butter cups are my favorite candy. So I'm super excited. I've never tried it before. And then we're going to hang out and probably watch a movie or TV, something like that on his porch. And it should be fun. So that's the update for now. Bye. So delicious. Take it so far away, you can come closer. Oh my gosh, it's as hard as a rock. I'm pressing down with all my might. RJ, I can't cut it. It's as hard as a rock, seriously. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, RJ and I came out here on his porch where I was filming the get ready with me part at the beginning of this video. And we're out here and we're gonna watch a movie and have a wine night and eat our ice cream cake. But it's really dark, so I don't think you're gonna be able to see because I'm shining my flashlight on myself right now. But yeah, I literally just broke his screen door because I tried to walk out here on the porch and I walked into the screen door because I didn't know that there was a screen door there even though I come out here every single day. And I broke the screen door because it's like coming off of the tracks. So... I literally break everything in this house. I broke the lamp the other day. And also, it took us 20 minutes to figure out how to open the bottle of wine because we're five years old. Okay, we're done.